Artists have been groundbreak breakers. They have introduced new ideas. They've broken through stereotypes. This has been the history of art. And those are the artists that I look for. Artists who are intelligent, who have strong opinions, whatever those opinions might be, and are willing to express them in innovative new ways that perhaps are not, uh, uh, are, are very different from the ways in which Iranian artists in the past have expressed themselves. Art in Iran is at a fundamental pivot point, showcased here at the Gray Art Gallery at NYU. Breaking through stereotypes, these artists are tackling political and social tensions expressed in innovative and new ways. I'm Sonia Talati, reporter at Barron's Pentup, and we sat down with one gentleman whose collection is approaching 200 pieces. I did not start off thinking that I want to build a, an art collection. That was the furthest thing from my mind. And then I happened to take a trip, a brief trip to Iran about 10 years ago in 2005. When I was there, just completely out of curiosity, I asked if there were any contemporary artists. And I was introduced to one, and I was so taken by the work that I bought a few pieces on the spot. And, and that's the, essentially how I got started in this with, with art. Freedom of expression, as we know it, does not necessarily uh, exist in many parts of the, of the Middle East. And so artists are very creative in how they express their views. Uh, and an example of that is uh, Mr. Barbat uh, Golshiri, whose works you see here, where a number of his works, for example, uh, he expresses views in Braille. You note that it's not raised, so it's not really meant for the blind. The Braille is actually in the form of holes. I look at that, for example, and what I see is all of us can see, but we choose not to. Well, one of the pieces here that is one of my favorites, it's a memorial piece that stands uh, slightly slanted. And what attracted me to that piece is, you know, when you look at it from a distance, it looks like a, a minimal work of art. But when you get closer to it, you find that it's just loaded with cultural symbolism. So for example, a top part that is stone, I believe it's marble, and a bottom part that is uh, black. And this uh, reminds me of the pre-Islamic Zoroastrian theme of the, the, you know, light versus darkness. I'm reminded of a quote that's attributed to Voltaire, although it really was uh, uh, said by his biographer, which is something to the effect that I don't agree with your opinion, but I'm willing to die for your right to express it. That is what drives me. That's my passion here. The fact that these artists, whatever their opinions might be, are willing to express them passionately. And in my view, uh, by buying their art, uh, one gives them an opportunity to, to express their views.